Hello, everybody, it's Gilton here, and welcome to my unboxing and review of the Figma Denji from Chainsaw Man. Yes, finally. I'm really excited about this. This thing looks really great. A lot of you are probably wondering why I went with the Figma over the SH Figure Arts, and if you're wondering that, then you probably don't watch my uh, reviews very much, because I am all about Figmas, I love Figmas, and while I have a, quite a few SH Figure Arts, most of them are actually in storage, because I, I just love Figmas. I love how many accessories they come with, like this one. He comes with, like, the Denji pieces and all that. Comes with Pochita. None of that comes with the SH Figure Arts, and I just love my accessories, man. And I saw some reviews of him and I thought he looked really really great and not to mention the last Mappa Boy that Figma put out was Yuji, which is now one of my favorite action figures in my entire collection. So let's hope we have another one just like that with Denji. He looks great. I will say, looking at him in the packaging right now, there's one thing that I'm really, really confused about. What is with these weird little slits right here in the uh, in the torso? That looks super weird. We will definitely look into that when we get into this. But um, I do think he looks great. This face sculpt is a little bit weird. I'm hoping that looks a little bit better when we actually get him out of... The package right here, we have all this, of course, you don't even get that with the uh, SH Figure Arts. That one is exclusively just Chainsaw Man. You don't get any Denji parts with that, which I don't like. I want my boy Denji as well, you know? Uh, and then on the side, we have an awesome picture of him right there and on the top right there. Really, really think it looks really great. I also just really like, like, the sharp angles of the chainsaw head on this particular figure. We'll talk about that more in the review, but uh, let's catch me picking him up for the first time. All right, here we go. Hopefully we got another Yuji or Rimuru here and not another Eris. My God, I swear to God, if I see those hinged legs again, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna blow a fuse, man. All right, let's see here. So obviously first, even though I just took him, picked him up, we gotta get all this plastic off real quick. Alrighty, right off the bat, can already say, not an heiress. We've got really nice tight leg joints right here. The only joint that's a little bit too loose for my liking is this torso joint right here, but it's just a ball joint, so I'm sure I could probably just put a little bit of super glue in there, uh, let it thicken up, put it back together, and I'm sure it will be just fine. Uh, his arms are a little bit odd. You can kind of see, like, gaps in, like, the arms right there. That's not horrible, I'm real, but I'm noticing, like, this one is, like, bigger than this one, and I'm trying to figure out what exactly is going on right there but it's not horrible and I really don't even understand what the hell that the, these little slits are here for like as soon as I saw those I was like what is the point of those those <laughs> oh is it okay hang on there's like a little thing right here so that like goes over there like wait wait <laughs> What the hell is going on here? This has like a plastic overlay piece that like goes around here and like what does that accomplish? I don't understand. This is like the most pointless thing I've ever seen in my life. Like what on earth did they add this for? I mean, it's not that noticeable. I mean, it kind of just looks like wrinkles in there. It's not it's not a big deal, but I just want to know why. <laughs> it's like that Ryan Reynolds clip where he's just like, but why? <laughs> These things are just so freaking weird. I don't know. Like, just look at, like, the way that they're placed. It's literally, like, an overlay that, like, slings over to this, like, back piece right here. And I just don't know what purpose it serves. I don't know. That's super, super weird. The head sculpt is absolutely phenomenal. I think they really, really knocked it out of the park there. Look at that. That is absolutely fan-freaking-tastic. Man, that's really good, actually. They got, like, all his super sharp teeth. The eyes right there is, like, tired little rings under his eyes right there. Damn, that looks freaking great. That looks really, really, really nicely done. Yeah, they definitely crushed it with the face gold. And then, of course, I mean, it's Denji. He's, he doesn't really have much going on, you know? He's just got, like, his uh, his little white shirt on. Very, very dirty, of course. And then his black pants right there. There are also these slits in the pants right here, which I think is to help with articulation. I actually don't mind these very much. I think these are a lot more of a what-the-fuck-were-you-thinking th what deal than these. But these are not bad or anything, but I don't really mind these. They're, they're not even that noticeable. I thought they looked kind of bad in the pictures and, like, the, the, like, the prototype pictures and all that. But now having him in hand, I don't think they're that bad. I'm going to say right now, my big problem, my, my biggest issue with him overall is these arm gaps. I wish they could have put like an extra little piece in there. Like, let me show you something here. I know I probably shouldn't do this after just like uh, kind of talking shit on them a while ago. I wasn't really talking shit on them. I just, they're just not my favorite thing. But SH Figure Arts right here, you can see on this Yuta figure, they have this like extra little piece right there, which covers up the gap in his arm right there. And I really, really love that. I think it works really, really well. That guy, that could have definitely gone along way on Denji right here, but 
It still looks really, really good. I love his, I love his shoes. Denji's got some really fun shoes, man. <laughs> They're just really blocky and like the red outline, the huge like tongue and all that. Yeah, that, <laughs> those are some crazy shoes and I, I dig it. I dig it. He's got, he's got some dripped out shoes right there. <laughs> Really, really nice looking though, and the tie is really cool as well, and I think it's a little bit poseable. No, it's just like in a little, like in, in like a sweeping motion right there. Not too bad at all. Looks really cool. The the only the only things I can say about him right now, overall, he's great. Over the only thing that I can really say about him right now is these slits just confuse the hell out of me, and I really do think he could have used some like extra little pieces right here in the arms to make these gaps look a little bit less noticeable. But overall, pretty darn solid so far. All right, we've got our trusty Figma stand right here. Hopefully we don't have another situation with that freaking Eris Figma. Let's hope he just goes right on there. Come on, come on. And there we go. Not too bad. Yeah, there we go. Nice and swift right there. All righty. So there he is on the stand. And it's a Figma stand, it's nothing special, but it definitely gets the job done, it doesn't take up a lot of space. I always like Figma stands, they are, uh, they're quite good, they are very quite good. But there you have the stand right there. Oh god, <laughs> now I'm a JoJo fan, so when I hear stand, I'm like, stand no! Alright, let's do some size comparisons, let's start off with some Figmas. So here he is with the Figma Rimuru Tempest right there, shorter one, and here he is with the Figma... Ryuko as well, so you can see how it looks with some other Figmas. Pretty great, I think the scale is pretty much perfect. Like, yeah, he's a he's a bit of a taller teenager, and you know, Ryuko, Ryuko's also a teenager, so I think this looks pretty darn good. Let's now bring in the Yuji here. So you can see how these two look together, and man, they look great together. Now, uh, of course, if you know that there's like there's like a, a weird connection between this, sh between Chainsaw Man, Jujutsu Kaisen, and Hell's Paradise, and it's, so it's kind of cool to have, like, both of these, and SH Figure Arts is making Hell's Paradise figures, so if you want the last one to go with uh, all three of these and have, like, the whole trio, you absolutely can do that, but uh, I checked out the anime of Hell's Paradise, and I'm sorry, but that was the most fucking generic paint-by-number shonen garbage I've ever seen in my life. I was not a fan, so, yeah, needless to say, I won't be picking those up, but if you are a fan of Hell's Paradise, you can go uh, get those SH Figure Arts figures and complete your, like, I don't, I forget what they call it, like, the Hell Trio or something like that. I don't even know how it works. I mean, Tusky Fujimoto's assistant wrote Hell's Paradise, but I don't know what the connection to Jujutsu Kaisen is, but whatever. They do look pretty darn great together. Let me take them off the stand real quick so we can get like a much better look right there. Yeah, that th these two look really, really cool together. And I'll probably pose them together, actually. They actually might go really, really well together on the shelf. All right, now to show what he's, how he scales with some other action figure lines. Here he is with the amazing Yamaguchi Deku, the SH Figure Arts, Yuta Okotsu, and the Super Action Statues, Josuke Higashikita from JoJo. So... There you have him, how he scales with some other lines right there. Why will you not stand up, Josuke? There we go. And I think all four of these work great together. I feel like the scale is pretty much perfect here. And if you wanted to cross universes and have and make like stop motions of like these characters fighting and all that, you absolutely can. This is a pretty wonderful time to be an action figure collector is have like all of these uh all these lines for all the shows that you love man it's it's very very cool and yeah i think it works really great of course there is also the sh figure arts but that one does not include the uh the denji stuff why will you not stand up this figure never gives me any problems standing up why are you now giving me problems okay it's actually starting to irritate me a little bit here we go all right moving on he stands up perfectly fine when i put him on a, on my shelf i guess it's just this little velvet surface i guess the uh Super action statues don't like that. All right, now for my favorite part of the review, the accessories, of course. Let's put him back on his stand real quick. Where the H did I put your freaking stand, buddy? Your stand no! What would Denji's stand be? Oh, it'd be definitely, it, it, it would just be Chainsaw Man, wouldn't it be? It would just be Chainsaw Man. Instead of him turning into it, I would just be a stand. All right, let's get into this. So first up, let's start off with the alternate Denji pieces. So we won't go into Chainsaw Man just yet. So first up, we've got a few alternate faces right here. We've got this one right here where he's got his tongue out. This one always looked really, really weird to me. I w I'm not really sure what they're going with with this face. I mean, I under I mean, I guess I understand it. Like him like panting like a dog for Makima or something like that. 
like that. I don't know, but uh, I don't know. It's just kind of weird. Like, uh, I'll tell you right now, you're never going to see me displaying my Denji with this face. I really love the default face, though, so not a big deal, but I don't know. This one's just kind of, I, I just don't know what they're going for, man. I don't, I just don't really understand what they were, uh, what they were trying to achieve with that. And then we get this one, which I haven't looked at this one very much, so let's see how this one looks. That one's pretty cool. Yeah, that one's a little bit more of like an innocent looking Denji. Like, I, I see this and I just hear, <laughs> that looks really, really good though. Oh, I never even talked about the articulation. He's got some pretty good, like they're a little bit less than 90 degrees right there at the arms. And he's got a little bit less than full bend at the legs right there, but not a huge deal. The, the SH figure arts, I'm sure probably has better posability, but uh, yeah. You know, again, that's completely up to you which one you want to get. But I am not, uh, I'm, I'm pretty fine with this articulation. Let's see how the arms are. He's got some inwards, a little bit of, oh yeah, is this guy, he's got those, oh yeah, nice. He's got those uh, moving pieces right there, just like Yuji had. That is really, really great. I love it when they put those in. So you get those full on butterfly joints. That's really, really cool. Still could have used that little piece right there to hide the gap and all that. And then of course, you know, standard Figma thing right there. He's got some ankle pivot, which I love. There's a little bit of plastic in there. There we go. A uh, little bit of ankle pivot, which is pretty darn great right there and he even has a little bit of toe pivot right there or not toe pivot toe uh um movement up and down you know but yeah pretty darn good articulation and i do like that head sculpt that face sculpt that face sculpt is actually pretty good but for now we're gonna stick with this uh default face right here kaboom there we go all right so far i really like the figure so let's keep going here let's talk let's look at pochita next shall we come on we all love Pochita right here. Now, I know you're all probably expecting me to compare this Pochita with the one that came with the Nendoroid, and you're also probably wondering why I didn't compare him with the Nendoroid. That's because I actually sold off the Nendoroid. Uh, yeah, I didn't like that. I didn't really, I just didn't really like that Nendoroid, honestly. So, I know that's a hot take. I know a lot of people love that Nendoroid, but I didn't like it, and I sold it off. So, yeah, you won't be seeing any comparison with this, but who does, but what does it matter now? Because now I've got this Figma Denji and this little Pochita to go with him, which is really, really, really cute. Oh, Pochita. I cry every time. <laughs> I want, can you have him hold it? Oh, I didn't even think about that. Can I actually pose him holding it because I will absolutely pose him holding it if I can do that. They don't show it on the box, but I'm absolutely going to try to do that before we end this review. Don't you guys worry. Alrighty. Uh, so there is Pochita. They did a great job on him. The only thing I'll say is I did notice a little bit of paint scuff right there. I don't know what's going on there. It's not really noticeable. I'm not really be beaten up about it, but it would have been nice if it wasn't there. I don't know if it's paint rub. If it's just black paint that got on there, I could easily get that off with some rubbing alcohol, but it also could be um, scuffs from this. This could all be orange paint. I just don't know which. And obviously, if it's all orange paint, then you definitely don't want to hit it with rubbing alcohol because then it'll take all the orange paint off. So it's either a bad thing or a good thing. Honestly, I don't really care. You can't really notice it. I'm sure someone more... Um, more, I don't want to say angry, but someone who like more nitpicky and whatnot would probably get really mad about that, but I'm per, I'm pretty okay with it. Okay, so we do have some gripping hands right here. I think I might be able to get him to hold Pojito. That is going to look awesome. But he got some peace hands and some relaxed hands. You guys know how much I love my relaxed hands right there. So that's wonderful. Let's put on one of these, um, these uh, grabbing hands right here for the next accessory we're going to show, which is one that I personally really, really like that they included because he used this multiple times in the anime. I've only watched the Chainsaw Man anime. I'm going to be reading the manga very, very, very soon, though, so don't you worry. But um, he used this multiple times in the anime, and I'm really glad they included it. This little axe right here. That's a really cool accessory. I'm really glad they included this. And if you get the SH figure arts, you do not get any of this. You get you, you completely stuck with the chainsaw arms and the head right there. So this is why I went with the Figma, and I'm already really, really happy I did, because this looks great, man. I really like this axe. I think that's a really cool accessory that they included and we can pop this hand off and give him a relaxed hand yeah guys i'm feeling this figure i think it is pretty darn great i think this is a pretty i think it's just about up there with the yuji it's really really nice man they do a great job on these mappa boys don't they um i think they have announced a figma of the hell's paradise guy too now that i think about it so if you want figmas of those guys you can just wait for them but uh yeah, this is actually really, really good, and uh, this looks really cool. I once again, we will try. I will definitely try to have him hold Pochita before I end this. But the hand selection is great. And the final Denji accessory, I don't even... So they have extra pieces right here, so why did they just put this on there? <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you guys? You guys make the weirdest decisions ever, but whatever, we'll just do that. I'll just do that, because, you know, using my head. Um, but you get this right here, which is the ripcord hand right here, which is pretty darn cool. Shouldn't have to say spoilers. If you're watching this, I'm sure you know. I'm sure you've gotten at least this far in the story. Uh, there you go. You just pose him 
like this. And I think there's just a like, I think you just got to stick it there. Yeah, I think you just got to stick it there. There's no hole or anything like that. And you can have him pulling the whip rip cord right there. And with that, let's get in to the Chainsaw Man accessories. And I mean, like, it's pretty straightforward. We're just going to replace his arms and his head. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not rocket science. We're just going to pop this new head on right there. This is a very interesting little mechanic. This actually popped off while I was uh, taking the plastic off, so I didn't know about this ahead of time. But it's kind of weird. It's like a keyhole shape, and you just have to fit it in there. And then it goes right in, so I don't hate it. It's pretty cool, and it clicks in pretty well. And this is even on a little hinge right there, which is pretty cool. I bet the SH Figure Arts isn't on the hinge right there. Look how good that looks, man. Look at those sharp angles of this. I, I honestly think this looks so much better than the SH Figure Arts. I'm not even freaking like kid, and this looks so freaking good. I just love the intricate painting, the sharp angles of the head, man. It looks fucking fantastic. Wow, that's so cool. Okay, and then we're gonna pop off the arms right here. Hopefully these, th those came off pretty darn easily, so hopefully we're not gonna have a Gojo problem right here where those are gonna break for everybody. So let's just hope and pray. I, I think it's gonna be okay. They popped off really, really easy. Like Gojo, you have to like pull and pull and pull. These things, you don't have to pull that much. Maybe they learned their lesson right here. There we go. Just be super careful with these. Pull them off very carefully and try not to pull them off too, too much. Try not to switch that too, too much. Let me see. We got any stress marks? I don't see any stress marks. Okay, so I think they'll be okay, but just use some caution. So we'll pop these off and turn him into Chainsaw Man. There he is. There is all, there he is, all Chainsaw Man up, and that looks very, very, very good. Uh, I quick spoiler warning, real quick. If you want to, if you don't want any any spoilers for Chainsaw Man, mute the video. Go ahead a little bit. All right. Okay. Uh, it would have been really cool if they included a leg as well. A leg that was also all chainsaw fied. That would have been an awesome accessory. Would have kind of been a spoiler accessory, but I still kind of wish they would have thrown that in there. Alrighty, I'll give it a little thumbs up right now. <laughs> there you go. So hopefully people know to uh, unmute or something if they did mute right there. But uh, yeah, this looks absolutely awesome. I mean, look at this. You got a ball joint right here at the head. These are sharp. Oh my God. Those are freaking sharp as hell. Be careful with those, y'all. You might, you could absolutely draw blood with those. Oh my God. Yeah, this, this looks absolutely, look at this, man. Look how good this looks. I don't have the SH Figure Arts, but I just think this looks so much cooler. I love the way, like, the sharp angles in the, in the head looks, and even the chainsaws themselves. I might, not gonna promise anything right here, but if I see the Ch SH Figure Arts on, like, a good sale, which SH Figure Arts figures do tend to go on sale, I might pick it up just to see how it compares to this figure, because, man, I love the way that this thing looks. I just love, there's something about the way that the head on this one looks compared to the SH Figure Arts that I just love so much more. Maybe it's, um, the SH Figure Arts was maybe based on the manga, and obviously I watched the anime first. I'm going to read the manga, but I watched the anime first, so I'm more accustomed to this, which I think is more accurate to the anime. That's probably it, but it looks awesome. However, we do have one more Chainsaw Man accessory. We have an alternate, uh, we have an alternate, uh, mouth right here, and I think we just gotta pull this off. This is a little bit tricky. Oh, no, it's not. You just gotta pull this off right there. Let me see here. Let me, let me see. So this doesn't really hinge up all that much, just a little bit right there. There we go. Okay, not too bad. And pop this one on right there. Get on there, motherfucker. There we go. There we go. Come on. I'll get that in off camera. You guys get the point. And there you have the open mouth right there. That also looks really fantastic. I think both of them look really great. I will give the SH Figure Arts this, and I will say this as an overarching complaint I have with a ton of Gen Genji figures, including this one and the, the Nendoroid. I absolutely hate when they don't put the freaking yellow eyes behind the, like, grills of the chainsaw, of the chainsaw head right there. Like, that was such a massive part of the character. Like, every single time he went chainsaw mode, the freaking freaking camera would like linger on his eyes and then they would freaking light up and it was awesome and they just completely left that out of this Figma and the Nendoroid and I fucking hate that and that is on the SH Figure Arts so that's one thing I will give the SH Figure Arts is god I wish that he had those freaking uh, those freaking eyes lit up back there even going what if they even went the extra mile and put like a freaking like switch or something like a light in there that would be freaking awesome but there you have Denji as a full on Chainsaw Man and I mean look at it it's fucking phenomenal could he some blood. I mean, I don't think these things were ever shown without blood. Like, literally, 
In order to transform, these things have to come out of his arms and his head, and they make him bleed everywhere. So there's no excuse whatsoever why he would not have blood on him, unless he's like fighting like a water demon, or power just turned the hose on him or something for some reason, as soon as he transformed. But um, overall, it looks absolutely phenomenal. Like, <laughs> this is an amazing, amazing Figma. But like I promised before we leave, we are absolutely going to try and have him hold Pochita. All right, we've got him all ready to go here. Got him with the hands. Let's see how we do this. So, one of, so both of, they're about the same length right there, and one of his fists is a little bit more closed than the other, so I think we need to put this one through here. I don't see why we wouldn't be able to do this. I don't, I don't really see, unless we just have to stretch these, like, way too much. Hang on, let me see if I can just, like, pop this in to the hand right here. Oh, it's not, it's not really like flexible at all. Okay, it's not easy, but it is possible. So I got that hand in. Now this one is open. So this one shouldn't be a problem. Oh yeah, you can absolutely do this guys. It's just a little bit, it's just a little bit harder than it should be, but you just gotta persevere. We will get through it. Oh, come on, come on. Just like the head, this handle is on a little bit of a hinge right there. It does move a little bit. There you go. <laughs> there you go. You can absolutely have him holding Pochito right there. I mean, yeah, <laughs> that looks freaking amazing. <laughs> Wow, that looks so freaking cool. I absolutely love that. I don't know if I'm going to display him like this because this figure has so many great display options. Like the Chainsaw Man mode looks incredible. I love that axe as well. Yeah, this is a really, really, really fantastic Figma, y'all. But yeah, it's absolutely no problem whatsoever to have him hold Pochita. It pretty much goes right in there. And you've got a ton of opposability right here in the hands. So I'm sure you could absolutely get him in some really great like swinging Pochita poses right there, right there. Hang on, let me put in that other, let me put in one of the other faces right there. He doesn't really come with like an angry face. I mean, obviously the chainsaw head. Yeah, that's pretty fucking angry. But um, like, I guess the closest thing you get to like an angry Denji head would be this like, would be this like tongue out face right here. So there you go. Yeah, he's like in psycho mode. He's like, oh, I'm gonna fucking kill every single one of these freaking devils. Yeah, this, uh, this is a top notch Figma. This is a really, really freaking great Figma. So I think with that, we can jump into our final thoughts. I mean, I pretty much already spoiled them though. So final thoughts on the Figma Denji from Chainsaw Man. Uh, this is a top notch Figma. I am so happy. I decided to go with this over the SH Figure Arts. The SH Figure Arts does not include any Denji parts. This axe, it doesn't come with Pochita. Like, I think this is such a great Figma. I think this thing is pretty much on par with uh, Yuji. I think he's pretty much just as good as Yuji and some of my others as well. I think this is actually probably one of my new favorite Figmas. It is really, really freaking top notch. They do such a great job on these like uh, really big high, high tier animes, these really big like super hyped up um, series. They, they do a really great job on these. They always really knock it out of the park with these kind of ones. It's, uh, sometimes they like to phone it in, but sometimes when they want to knock it out of the park they knock it out of the park and in my opinion this one knocks it out of the fucking park this is such a great figma uh only issues i have with this figure is i wish that there would have been blood on the chainsaws i really don't understand why on earth they decided not to put blood on the chainsaws there is something about it that i do think looks kind of cool like the clean like the cleanliness of it i think it looks a little bit cool and, and admittedly it'd be really easy to put blood on them you just get some red paint and kind of go to town on it try to make it look uh, like blood but it probably wouldn't be that difficult to do that at your own risk, though. I will not be doing that because I'm very bad with paint. Um, but uh, that, and I think they could have put a little bit better of the uh, of the Denji faces in here. This one's great, but the other two are kind of... One of them is okay, but the one with this tongue sticking out is just weird. I'm not really a fan of that. Maybe it's supposed to be a perverted face. Maybe that's what it's supposed to be. But um, it's it's not it's not a great face. I'll never be using that one. So if you... Uh, I, I did look kind of good when I put it with... Uh, when, when, when he was holding Pochita, but I probably will never use it. So the faces were kind of a miss. 
But um, other than that, I think that, oh, I don't like these slits right here in the in the torso. Those are just so weird to me. These I don't mind, but these are just so freaking weird. And I don't understand why they put it. And I think it would have looked a little bit better if it was just uniform. And I still just don't, to the, still to this moment, don't understand what this accomplishes. Like, does this like increase posability? If you, I feel like it decreases posability. Like, I have no idea what they were doing with that. That is so freaking weird. Like, they're trying to get all fancy with this weird overlay. And it's just like, just make the piece. What are you doing? doing <laughs> but i digress still really really great overall and the articulation's great i mean you can see i can get him in this awesome like over the shoulder pose but you guys know how much i love those kind of poses and you got some butterfly right there some really great pose but i didn't even i didn't show this but if you look on the box right here they show this uh this pose right here of him like having like the arms like cross right there which is really really awesome i'm sure the sh figure arts can probably pull that off as well so you know that's not really like an overall win for this one but this one can do it which is great and um yeah, I don't really have, those are pretty much my only complaints. I think it's a top-notch Figma, and I'm so, so glad I picked it up. It, it's, it's fantastic, so... There you have it, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe give me a like, subscribe for some more anime figure reviews in the future. Um, as for the other Chainsaw Man figmas, I don't know if I'll be picking them up. I did really enjoy the series uh, when I watched it. I've watched it twice, and I am looking forward to reading the manga very soon. But... It's not a series that I absolutely love. I do really like it, but I don't absolutely love it. So I feel like just having Denji right here will be perfectly, will be enough for me. But who, we'll see, we'll see. I won't, I won't say anything, obviously. But I'm not, also not going to promise that I'm going to review Aki or Power or if they do a Makima. If they do Kobeni, I love Kobeni. So if they do Kobeni, that one I might get. But um, we, we will see. But I think this figure is fantastic. So there you have it. Thank you all so much for watching the video. And this is DK Yolotine. I'll sign you out.